guys, so I hope you're having a lovely week as always. I'm just going to give you a heads up now if you hear some strange noises. I promise it's not me, my dog George, he's lying on the floor down there and uh, he just doesn't want to leave today, so that's what that is. This week's episode is all about how I found my wedding dress. I mentioned last week that I've, I've found it, I've paid the deposit and it's going to be coming, it's going to be leaving Spain in March actually, so uh, really, really excited. But I just thought I'd sort of go through the process with you because I found it complicated is not the right word because I feel like that's a negative word because it was great fun but it wasn't the most straightforward experience that I had so as you know I went to London had a fantastic day out with my mum and Matt's mum and we I had made one appointment which I tried on about four dresses didn't find anything managed to get in on a second shop tried on a lot more but still didn't find anything so when I got home I spent hours and hours online again I must have looked at close to a thousand dresses hoping that one would just sort of jump out at me and I just wasn't coming across anything so I kind of did the other extreme instead of just making one appointment I made three over the course of two weekends um, where I had I, I didn't hadn't seen a dress that I wanted in those shops specifically but they had a style that was more what I was leaning to so I thought right so I picked those and the first shop I went to, I just found that I don't know if it's I don't know if it's because people when they're in London there's a different feel. I found that it was much more relaxed. They were still very friendly in London and you know they were helpful, but it was very formal and when your hour is up, your hour is up. So I think for my say my actual appointment, I tried on four dresses and while I was still in the fourth dress, the next lady was here and they're like, right, your next appointment's here, so I had to go. So if you haven't made your mind up, you don't have time to sit around and think about it. Whereas in the second shop I went to, well, so the first shop at home, technically my third shop I'd been into, um, they, I think I was in there for almost two hours and I didn't even know how long I'd been in there till I left. They are a lot more accommodating in that sense, it was just more relaxed and I didn't feel the pressure to agree that I liked something just to sort of, I'm a bit of a people pleaser sometimes and I don't like saying, oh no, I try and say it in nicer ways, or go, yeah, I like it, but. And, you know, she it was a really lovely lady and I tried on uh, maybe 10 dresses, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, I'm not sure. And the last dress I tried on, I got really excited about because in my head it 99% matched the style I'd been going for. And I felt really excited and I was like, yes, I think I found the dress. But I was also slightly disappointed because the second shop I was going to that day, I'd met the lady earlier in a week and she was really lovely. And I've just, I've got a designer in my head which I never do, I'm not a designer person, but from the dresses I've been looking at, this designer kept sticking out, and the dress that I picked wasn't that designer, which is like, that's not a problem, but I, I still couldn't get them out of my head. So it kind of shows that that wasn't really the dress, but at the time, I was still fairly confident it was, but I thought, I'm going to go to my second appointment uh, after lunch, because I just, I just need to prove to myself that it definitely is the dress. And I got to the second shop and Sue, the lovely lady that uh, runs the shop that I went to, it's called the Bridal Room, she has a couple of shops around Surrey, and um, she was just so helpful and straight away she knew what I was looking for and she found me my dress first time, I tried it on, but because there was things that I did want to change and add or sort of take off the dress, um, at first like I'm not very arty in that sense, I'm not very creative, so I couldn't picture the, the final dress if that makes sense. And I was looking at it and I was like, I'm, this feels like it's it, it just doesn't feel like it's 100% it because I can't see the finished dress in my head. But it was the style, it was most, it was it was so close, I just say, there's just those personal touches that I wanted to make to it. And I tried on several other dresses just to get ideas of what I can add to it. And I then tried that dress on again at the end and I got to stand around in it for about 10 minutes while we were chatting and I was like, you know what, it, I knew it was a dress but at the time I just felt overwhelmed I think because I tried on so many in that day and thinking that I found my dress in the morning and then being like actually no I think I found this dress I I just I didn't make a decision then I went home the mums and me went back to the house and we got up pictures of both dresses and I was almost literally doing a pros and cons list of trying to work out what it was that and then I was just you know it's just too much and I wasn't making any sense so I went out that evening and distracted myself and what I noticed throughout that evening is while I obviously wasn't thinking about it, the second dress was the one that kept coming into my head. And then that's when I realised, I was like, that's my dress. Because if it was the first dress, that would be the one I'm thinking about and I'm not thinking about it. And in fact, since I've been out, I hadn't thought about it at all. So I knew that was the dress, but obviously because there was quite a lot of changes that I wanted to make to it, I just, just hadn't got that final picture in my head. So I went back a week later 
and so it was so helpful I printed out all these photos and I sat down with her and her colleague and we just went through all the photos of working out what we can and can't do and just to show her colleague that I wouldn't uh, suit a certain type of dress we put one dress on and I was like yeah I mean it's a nice dress but yeah didn't get any feeling and then I put my dress on again to show and as soon as I started putting it on I just got so excited and I say my dress I hadn't bought it then obviously but I was putting it on and I was just I just knew it just had this feeling about it and I just got such a buzz and again standing around chatting in it for a while and it what was so nice about Sue is that she didn't say oh right that's your dress then you know let's go get it ordered it was you have to be a hundred percent go away think about it she even said I can go back again try it on again you can try it on several more times before you actually order it you don't have to make a decision there and then obviously you do need that six month period for it to come in and if you are having alterations a couple of months for that so bear that in mind when you do buy your dress but because I've still got quite a long time she was like you know come back again try it on again but I knew then that I didn't need to it's just that it was hard for me to picture the, the complete dress because I am going to be making a lot of changes to it but I went home that night and I was like, that's my dress. So I phoned up the next day and I bought it. So like I said, it was a bit of a roundabout story, a bit complicated, but I have got there in the end and I'm so, so happy. And the bits that I am going to be adding and designing to it, I'm going to be working on in November, December time. Sue said would be a good time to go back. So yeah, I get to have a dress that, although it's the designer that I really, really love, it's also going to be personal to me because I get to make quite a lot of changes to it and obviously I can't say any more than that and it's so hard not to accidentally give something away so I'm trying to be very careful um, but yeah I say highly recommend them they're the bridal room and there's a shop in Rygate and there's a shop in Horsham they're just so friendly and helpful and the dresses are beautiful so I hope that does help you if you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the dress shopping process like I said can feel a bit stressful but it does it all works out everything happens for a reason and it all works out in the end. I think George would like to come and say, you know what, I'm just going to show you George because he keeps sitting here. Come here, come on. This is George. And just to show you, this is my dog. He is like a big softy, really. So if you hear random noises in the future, I don't know if you can, can you? I think you can see him. You got a big baby on you, yes. <laughs> there you go, so that's George. You got to meet George. There is a cat, Pickle. She's around somewhere, so when she's around, I'll include her in the vlogs as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think George was getting a bit bored listening it by the end. He's not really into his dresses. And I will speak to you next week. Don't forget, I love your comments. Please tweet me. That's at Charlotte's Vlog. And I'm on Facebook, so that's facebook.com slash Charlotte's Vlog. Comment under the video. Share us around. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you think you like it and you want to know more about weddings. And if you've got any questions, please just ask away. And I'll see you next week.